Hey you guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kadia Isitu and this is a video, as you can see, about the pros and cons of human hair crochet. And while I talk about that, I am going to wand curl my human hair crochet that I just installed just a week ago. And uh, I'm trying to see what the hair is giving because this is my first time trying this hair. And I wanna make sure that it does well with heat and as far as like the maintenance goes. If you watch my TikTok, and you know that I'm on a journey of just trying to figure out the hair and how it works and things before I go off and tell you guys all the details. So let's begin. So this is clearly freshly out the bonnet hair. I just woke up and decided to get ready and do a, to do a video. So that's why I want to show you what exactly it looks like straight out the bonnet. Oof. And this is it. Truly, guys, this is how I would wear my hair 100% of the time. I love wand curls and everything, but I feel like that requires maintenance. I say all of that to say, when it comes to crochet braids, especially human hair, it depends on you as far as like maintenance goes. There are women who are like me. And we like the wash and go look. We like our hair to look super natural. And just like this, which honestly doesn't require a lot, but if you are the type to want to wand curl your hair, do braid outs, um, do all these different styles or blow out on your hair, especially like, like your human hair crochet, as far as styling goes, that is maintenance, okay? So, I'm like, okay, the con is it does require maintenance, but this, especially with the person I am, I am not the type of girl who wants to wear my hair in uniform curls all the time. I want my hair to look as natural as possible, which is a wash and go. So the reason why I'm doing these long curls is strictly for the video to show you guys what these curls can do. And also I wanted to test out the hair to see how it works with heat and if it will curl back. So that's why I'm here and um, hope you guys like it because I hope I like it. So obviously the first thing that I talked about was the con of maintenance. But once again, I feel like this is low maintenance for me. And also too, just want to give you guys a heads up. When dealing with human hair in general, you want to make sure they use an unbrush. These tend to take out the tangles so quickly, like I've never met any brush like this. And as simple as it looks, it, it gets things done. As you can see, it did detangle these this hair. I don't believe this hair gets tangled up too much anyway. So um, I'm happy that it's one of those hairs that doesn't require too much would say the maintenance as far as like the maintenance goes it all depends on you and the style that you're looking for and also the curl that you get because I recommend any type of curl type truly because that's what looks more natural what I stand for when it comes to dealing with crochet braids or just weave in general especially for black women is that you want to get hair that looks like yours it takes a lot to blend in your natural hair with something that is not quite your texture. So that requires a lot of heat and that will equal to heat damage. So I always stand for getting weave that looks like yours because the roots of your natural hair is textured hair. You know what I'm saying? So always get hair that looks like yours because I don't know, it just it just looks better and it's more flattering to a uh, type 4 girlies. Like it's, it looks so good. Though it requires a lot of maintenance, I feel like the pro when it comes to human hair crochet is the fact that I can style this however I want. I can curl it, I can blow it out, and leave it honestly like this. Like this is a look for me. You know what I'm saying? Like this is low maintenance. All I gotta do is brush out the curls and just wear it. I can honestly just leave it like this and go out like or just have a simple photo shoot honestly this is eating oh my god i might have to do this style for a photo shoot because i literally just brushed my curls and it looked this good i didn't even know it would look this good 
but it does. Anybody, when you see me in person, any like I feel like I've been getting a lot of compliments on the curls itself, but if anybody was to see this in person, they will freak the heck out that this is crochet. Shoot, cause I'm freaking out. And I'm the hairstylist. Um, I am gonna also show you guys the brush after detangling this hair. And this is it, this is all that's on the hair. And truly guys, I feel like this is not bad. Cause I'm telling you, I've dealt with like kinky kinky hair and not saying that it's bad. I love the kinky strands, but this style, this curl is a little looser and it doesn't have a lot of shedding. I feel like if I would have done something kinkier, it would have had so much shedding. It would also require a lot of maintenance, like a lot of me detangling and managing it. But again, I've never tried it. I will try it in the future and see how that goes. So another pro for me is that you can reuse this hair. And I mean 100% of the hair. Like, it depends on how you take it out, but truly I think it, it can be reused. Like I've styled this hair on my client, I'll say like a year straight and she's reused, she's taken out the hair herself and reused it. So it is possible to reuse this hair. The con is the hair can cost some money. And truly I believe it's an investment because I will want to reuse the hair, especially if it's worth it, you know what I'm saying? Especially if I can reuse it, I will pay 300 for some hair. That could be a con for some people, but truly I feel like it's an investment and it's worth it. The pros is the hair can be washed. And I say that's a pro because I will want to wash my scalp and not have any issues of, oh my God, is this hair gonna tangle? Is it gonna do this? Is it gonna do that? But then at the same time, that could be a con for some people. They don't wanna wash their hair. They don't wanna take care of their scalp. They just don't want to deal with their hair at all. But I also feel like when you're wearing a protective style, you have to manage your scalp. That is like, you have to keep your scalp clean. You have to keep it moisturized. Truthfully, your scalp is supposed to be breathing. And that's why I'm a big iffy, I'm a bit iffy about wigs. Like, I feel like that stuff is for movies, plays, drag queen stuff. But that's a whole nother story. And that's a whole nother thing. And I don't want to get into it with that, but I like crochets because I can see my scalp and I can feel my scalp and I can wash my scalp. That's like the most important thing for me. But let's talk about the cons because I feel like I'm doing too much of the pros because I feel like there are a lot of pros when it comes to this style. The con that I would think about is the process of taking it out because I, once again, I'm a hairstylist. I've done crochet. Um, a human hair crochet and the first question for the client is how do you take that out and I'm like girl once I install it I will show you because it's really that easy I don't think it requires a lot but then at the same time there is two ways to crochet human hair so you want to be very careful with what route you take when it comes to doing um, the styles but for clients I try to do the easiest route so that way they don't have to pay nobody to take it out they could just do it at home. I don't think it's fair to pay all that money to get it put in just to have to pay somebody again to get it taken out. And then also too, you paying for the um, the hair itself, which can be a little pricey. But as you can see, the hair is clearly wanded. A pro that you can clearly see, I colored this hair. I just bleached it. Um, people ask a lot, of, a lot of questions about that on the viral TikTok video, and it's really as simple as me bleaching the hair. Like, I can bleach this to whatever level that I want it, I can color however I want it, and that's a pro in itself. Like, you don't have to go into the store and find the exact color that you're looking for, you could just make it yourself. But I'm gonna finish up these uh, curls. And we're gonna close out this video because I feel like I spoke about all the pros and cons for real. Um, if I might have missed any, please let me know in the comments. Please comment and like, subscribe. If you 
gotten this far in the video. I am going to show you the end of this hair, so don't worry. I've just been rambling instead of working, so that's why I'm not finished, and I'm not really good at multitasking, so work with me here. I'm gonna show you guys the end of how this looks. I think it will come out looking really good, but I am gonna wash it again and get my wash and go back, cause I see that it's curling, I'm happy. You guys see that it's curling, the hair is great. <clears throat> and truly y'all, I know you guys are asking me about the length of this hair. And as I addressed in my last video, I did say I do not know how this hair works. So I'm not gonna recommend any hair to you. And on top of that, I'm thinking about working with this vendor to sell the hair to my clients and you know, wholesale. So why would I share my vendor? I feel like now that I'm I'm doing that, I'm doing that in public. Like I'm testing out the hair in public so people feel that I'm entitled to showing the vendor. And it's like usually when people are looking for their vendor, it's not something that they do in public like on social media maybe they do but the fact is they're not required to show you their vendor if they're testing out the hair and I'm not required to show you my vendor so how about you just wait and see how this hair goes because that's what I would do worthy of buying you know what I'm saying I want to make sure that I'm buying something that I know is worth it so if I was you, I would just be a little bit more patient because I understand the excitement of everything. But take it a little, take it a little bit easy on me. Like I'm just here sharing what I love to do to the world, and that's literally it. Like I don't think calling me out my name is going to make a difference. And I know people are reading this and like, what they're calling you out your name? Yes, girl, they're calling me out my name because I'm not sharing what they want me to share like people feel entitled to the things that you post on social media like they feel entitled to you in general and also it's a lot of projecting projection going on like people are going through a lot in their lives and they use social media as a way to like go and uh, let out those things and it's like you don't even know me I'm human first and not saying that I give a damn about what y'all saying and all the cussing out and threats and stuff I've, I've gotten a little thick skin from life in general um i've lived 28 years of life so ain't nothing none of that stuff is phasing me okay but to the people who support me and are on this journey and actually like defending me in those comments i want to say thank you so much and also the friends who called me to check on me to let me know hey girl don't even worry about it i appreciate all the encouragement because sometimes it is annoying but it's also like, you don't know these people. So, you don't owe them a damn thing. So you take your time and you do what you need to do for you and your platform because right now I'm just trying to build a community of people who just want to learn how to do crochet braids, who want to know how to take care of their hair and just have fun in the process. It shouldn't be as serious as it is. Okay, so there are a few things that I forgot to mention when it comes to this human hair crochet and that is, well, two cons. And one con is actually getting the hair. I feel like when it comes to bundle in general, it's really hard to just, you can't just go into the hair store and just get this hair. You gotta order it, which will probably take three to like seven business days. And another thing, the weather. If you do go on vacation with this hair, the humidity will probably like, puff it up and stuff so that's a con it, it, it's not like synthetic hair where it could just not react to those things because it's synthetic it doesn't react to weather um, adjustments but human hair will think about your natural hair with humidity it does soak up all that moisture in the hair and it puffs up so but that's why I like the wash and go method because it doesn't really it doesn't matter what I do you know what I'm saying so Yes, keep that in mind. So now that that is done, I am going to separate the hair and get the curls, or at least the density that I want them to be. So as you can see, these are 20 inches, and this is how much they shrink.
This side looks better than this side. Just a little bit. You can style it however you want. And I'm gonna do another video on that. Probably today, honestly. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, I sold you guys on the idea of human hair crochet. I've been doing crochets for about 10 years now, and I've been trying to sell this to people for years. I'm finally happy that it's getting the recognition that it needs, because as a type 4 girly, I would love for all of us to just wear hair that looks like ours. But truly, if you don't, that's totally fine too. If you want to get some... Uh, if you want to get your hair straightened and be a straight natural, you can do that. If you want to get a relaxer, you can do that. That's all up to you. But you also have to understand the consequences when it comes to getting those styles, okay? Because you don't want your health to be in jeopardy, okay? So that's why I'm obsessed with human hair crochet. I feel like also it's a great protective style to use. And sorry, my baby's in the back. She just woke up. <laughs> um, it's a great protective style for us. And we just need to get, we just need to get hit because this looks amazing. And every time I go out, people ask me, oh my God, who did your hair? Is that your hair? Like, those are the quite, kind of questions I like, which means that this, this is it, okay? It looks like my hair. That's the whole point. So, comment, like, and subscribe if you liked the video. I'll see you guys later in the next video. Bye!